In this video, we're going to go over the equation for linear motion and rotational motion of a scotch yoke. This scotch yoke consists of a rotating cylinder that has a peg that fits and moves in the yoke to turn the rotation motion to linear motion or linear motion into rotational motion. So we can really think in terms of the unit circle and think in terms of a right triangle with a hypotenuse of the radius of the path, which we'll make four, and an angle of rotation as the angle of the triangle, which we'll use 30 degrees. We are dealing with the side length opposite, which is the linear distance of the yoke, and the hypotenuse, which is the radius of the path, and this makes a right triangle, or a triangle with one 90 degree angle. So we'll use the SO and the property of right triangles SOKATOA, which stands for the sine of the angle is equal to the opposite side of that angle over the hypotenuse or longest side. We can rearrange this to be the sine of the angle times the hypotenuse, which is the radius, equals the change in yoke distance or displacement. Plugging in our numbers, we get a distance of two units for the yoke displacement. Now if we wanted to solve for the angle, we can take the inverse sine of the opposite, or the change in yoke distance, over the hypotenuse, or the radius of the path. We get 30 degrees plugging in our numbers. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.